Very soon, the Yankee teachers came down and set up school. But oh, how the Rebs did hate it. It was against their rule. Our masters tried to hide book learning from our eyes. Knowledge didn't agree with slavery. It would make us all too wise. But some of us would try to steal a little from the book and put the words together and learn by hook or crook. <laughs> I remember old Uncle Card well, who took pot liquor fat and greased the pages of his book and hid it in his hat. And if his master had ever seen the leaves upon his head, he would have thought them greasy papers, but nothing to be read. You. And there was Mr. Turner's Ben, who heard the children spell and picked the words right up by heart and learned to read them well. Well, the northern folks kept sending the Yankee teachers down, and they stood right up and helped us, though the Rebs did sneer and frown. And I longed to read my Bible, for precious words it said. But when I began to learn it, folks just shook their head and said, there's no use in trying. Oh, Chloe, you're too late. But as I was rising 60, I had not time to wait. So I got me a pair of glasses and straight to work I went and never stopped till I learned to read the hymns and the testaments. Then I got a little cabin, a place to call my own. I felt as independent as the queen up on the throne.